Okay, well, let me just pick this up real quick because. Oops. Absolutely crazy and not okay. Perfect. Started watching um, conspiracy videos on the um on the Pixar theory, so that's what I'm gonna talk about. Uh, okay. So if you know me, I'm obsessed with anything Disney, Pixar, or any cartoons like the whole back there. That's all Disney movies. Then there's a shelf under my bed. Then I have like all these movies. I just I'm obsessed to have. I don't think it's a problem actually. Some plan I'm making a career out of it. <laughs> so I've watched these movies my whole life and um, so many times again and again watching them. So naturally I have my own theories about the connections between the movies and the movies themselves and much more. So to kick the series off, I'm going to start off with the Pixar theory. I haven't read. There's an official Pixar theory. This um. A blogger or a writer he wrote he has an actual theory out on this um but my understanding is his last update on the theory starts just with brave but with the really with the recent release of the good dinosaur I think it's okay to move to move that movie to the very beginning of the timeline it makes the most sense to be at the beginning the different um it starts with the dinosaurs so that's the dinosaurs are the beginning of our human um timeline so I haven't seen the movie yet, but when I do, I will make a video on my thoughts about The Good Dinosaur. I'm sure it was a great movie. Um, now because this is supposed to be just an intro video to the, the whole Disney Theory uh, series, I'm going to run through the timeline without giving too much context and too much, without making it too lengthy. So here's the order the Pixar universe is generally in. So, okay, here's the order um that the theory is in first is the good dinosaur the good the first movie in the theory is the good dinosaur then brave then the incredibles then it's toy story finding nemo ratatouille and newt that are all in the same time period um next is up inside out and the unreleased um coco they are all in the same p time period as well then it's Cars and the rest of the Cars movies and the Planes movies. And then it's Wally. -E, then A Bug's Life. And finally the Monsters um the Monsters Inc. movies. So the short the short the short version of the Pixar universe, as far as I am aware, is the Witch from Brave is actually Boo from Monsters Inc. We find out this we find this out because the witch has a wood carving of Sully in her cave. Also she travels magically through the doors. Um, which is influenced by the the closet, the monsters in her closet um, in Monsters, Inc. The Incredibles introduce a new subspecies of, of human, the super, um, the superhero that is. They are granted their powers via the government in order to control the fear factor that is so big in the universe at their time period. Fast forward some years later and the storylines of Toy Story, Finding Nemo, Ratatouille, and Newt are all in the relationship all show the relationship between man and the animals slash machines. Now, just to mention really quickly, there was a movie announced back in uh, 2011, I believe it was, titled New, but it has since been put on the shelf in order to give the creators more time to work on their other projects. That is the um, what the director told the press. Um, some say it was also because the plot was way too similar to that of a movie that was coming out, which is Rio by the Blue Sky Animation Studio, which was to be, to be released around the same time. In my opinion, the one of the maybe realer reasons was because Newt would fall in the same spot in the theory, on the theory's timeline that has already been thoroughly covered. Toy Story, Finding Nemo, and Ratatouille are supposed to explain why the toys, animals, and machines are being becoming fed up, fed up with humans. Newt would, would have been about the same issue. The two, protag the two protagonists in the film we're going to be forced by humans to mate in order to have in order to save their species. The movie would have proven that to be a false pretense, but it still could have could it still would have explained the birthing animosity between man and animal, which was already explained in Toy Story Finding Nemo and um what was the other one? 
and Ratatouille. Um, okay, sorry, back to the theory. Um, the toys in Toy Story fall under the overall umbrella of machines. Um, next is Up, Inside Out, and the unreleased Coco. We'll um, further explain why humans are so important in the balance of the Pixar universe. Inside Out shows us that it is our emotions that give us power to give power to these things around us. Okay, so as I was writing this, I had to put Wally twice on the timeline because the movie, the the time period in Wally is so vast. They were in space for seven hundred years. So, and then it's before that too. The movie, the movie covers um that time period as well. So, in the beginning of Wally, it shows um or yeah, the beginning of Wally shows how the machines finally, I guess, they got sick of the humans or there was a war of some sort. Um, and they just they sent them away on the the am am. I want to say Amtrak. I know that's not right, though. Um, what? Okay. So, they send them away in order to save Earth. But without humans, the machines start to break down, which is, again, what we see at the beginning of Wally. But before that, cars. The AI from those robots went into cars and planes as well, um, in my opinion. Thus, the movie's cars and planes. Um... And why they are so similar to humans. They, they, they have the same um, like similar mindsets and similar behaviors and societies. And it's very similar to humans. Um, there was a war between the humans and the machines. The machines won. But in Cars 2 we find out that now they're having an energy crisis again. Because the humans are not there. Um, now after the world completely goes to shit after Cars 2 we're assuming. And we find ourselves back at Wally. Um... Wally being the little, the last little machine, and he's only survived because of his fascination with human culture, that has kept his machine like thrive. He's thrived because of that, and because of his relationship with the cockroach. It's life. It's a different form of life, and that's what's keeping him going. Um. After the events of Wally occur, occur the last scene is the plant growing, the plant in the shoe, from Wally growing into a tree, which is very similar. To the tree, the ants live in in a bug's life, and they have lived there for many years. Which means bug life, the bug's life movie takes place many years after Wally. In the real world, ants only live up to three months, but in bug's life, this is I actually went on the website for the theory guy. Um, in the real world, ants only live up to like three months, but in a bug's life, the ants allude to being around for much much longer than that. One of the ants, he goes um. It makes me feel like I'm 90 years old again, which <laughs> ants, if ants only live three months in our time, evolution in the Pixar universe has really taken them quite far. Um, this happens because of mutation. The human species was not big enough to be a threat to the bugs, and eventually animals mutate and evolve into stronger species. Um, way after the events of Wally, the animals start to mutate, they, they start to mutate because of the, pollu the pollution of the BNL company. Um, the big company from Wally. Um, these mutations are the monsters from Monsters Inc. and again form into societies like the ones humans used to lead. Um, with again another similar problem, the energy crisis. Um, companies like Monsters Inc. use time travel to collect energy from human emotions, which is presented in the Inside Out movie. Um, that that is where our energy comes from. So yeah, that's all I have on that. That was the theory in a nutshell. I try to get it out as quickly as possible. Um, so yeah, more videos to follow this. If any questions on like why each one, it, it, if you want me to go deeper in the movies, um, you can comment below or I, I might do it anyway because I am having way too much fun with this. Anyway, okay. Thanks for watching. Bye.